Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration streaming live from the sanctuary of St. Paul the Apostle. The priests and brothers of the Society of St. Paul offered this Mass for all their intentions. For the special intentions of Pope Francis, Superior General Father Domenico Soliman, SSP. <clears throat> All doctors, nurses, health workers, medical practitioners, and all frontliners who are fighting COVID-19. All intentions offered through Sambuhay TV Mass and those enrolled in St. Paul Mass Association. For the, thanks, for the special intentions of Carl Martin and Jean Pauline Domawal, Eduardo Hodloman, De Leon Family, Maria Teresa Adrias, Alcantara and Arsenio family, Wally Vega and family, Cincha Flores, RCBC Human Resources Group, and Hyacinth Seville Mariano. For the Thanksgiving of Domawal Medical Clinic, Celia Go, Alcantara family, Carl Andrew Calzado and family. For the birthday Thanksgiving of Celia Palomar, for the good health of Celia Go and family, Giolia Malcantara, Chase De Los Santos, Calzado Meneses family, Sulisipan Zelda family, for the healing and recovery of Irvin Lander De Rama Magtuba, Constante and Celia Go, John Lester Goto, Gra Graham Bobby, Zobel De Ayala, Estrel Camille de los Santos, Karen Ann Pascual, Lutgarda Escandor, Janice Escandor, Rosalindo de Jesus, Nino Sabalie, Cynthia Flores, Mark Gamir and Mario Silos, Josephine and Maria Carolina Gamir, Evaresha and Luisa Apostol, Bethilda Gamir and AJ Gamir, and Jacinta Carlos. For the eternal repose of the souls of Mabel Abano, Jose Abano Jr., Roger Lamos de Eraham II, Vicenta Alano, Goffing Tuan, Flora Mateo Go, Amante and Bellato, Luis and Evelyn Ang, Marcela Go, Presenciana Gallardo, Luisa Lamos de Francia Benco, Mercy Turdanes, Lolita Apostol, Stephen Tanyu, Armando Mateo Santos, Janet Remigio, Daniel Romel Canlas, Paulino Cheng, James C. Ali, Feliciana Bautista Pahatin, Edgardo Lim, Victoria Sebastian, Jose Sr., Virginia Hodloman, Guarino and Estefania Dumawal, J. Andre Mabati, Felipe Gam, Dolores and Dominador, Mabati, John Gonzalez, Junta Dena, Filomeno Victoria, Leonor Floro, and Amado, Siriaco Pasita, Salvador, and Armand Hoxson, Patricia de la Cruz, Ignacio, Jocelyn Sacramento, Nicolas Flores, Blas de la Cruz, Jerry David, Jovita Olindan, Lorena Barrio, Salvador Guzman, Leoncio Villanosa, Via Francis Shang Hio, Gilbert T. Alonso, Ambrosio Nena, Billy and Nonoy Diaz, Maria Teresa Sarona, Agustin Santos Sr., Emmanuel Calzado, Maria Tagaca, and all the souls in purgatory, especially those who have died because of COVID-19.
and trans antiphon. This holy man fought to the death for the law of his God and did not fear the words of the godless, for he was built on solid rock. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Blaise, Bishop and Martyr. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, the supplications your people make under the patronage of the martyr Saint Blaise and grant that they may rejoice in peace in this present life and find help for life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect hospitality, for through it some have unknowingly entertained angels. Be mindful of prisoners as, as if sharing their imprisonment and of the ill-treated as of yourselves. For you also are in the body. Let marriage be honor among all the marriage bed be kept undefiled. For God will judge the immoral and adulterers. Let your life be free from love of money, but be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never forsake you or abandon you. Thus, we may say with confidence, The Lord is my helper, and I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. For he will hide me in his abode in the day of trouble. He will conceal me in the shelter of his tent. He will set me high upon a rock. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not, 
Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Please all stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. King Herod heard about Jesus, for his fame had become widespread, and people were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Others were saying, he is Elijah. Still others, he is a prophet like any of the prophets. But when Herod learned of it, he said, It is John, whom I beheaded. He has been raised up. Herod was the one who had John, arrest, who had John arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife, Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but he was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. Herodias had an opportunity one day when Herod on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. His own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her, I will grant you whatever you ask of me even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? Her mother replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed but because of his oaths and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison. He brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl, in turn, gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Isang maganda umaga po sa inyong lahat at sa lahat ng ating mga kasambuhay na sumusubaybay sa ating TV Mass. Ginugunita po natin ngayon ng uh, kapistahan ni San Blas o ni Saint Blaise, isang obispo at isang martyr. Kilala siya bilang patron ng mga may sakit sa lalamunan. Bakit lalamunan? Dahil ayon sa kwento, pinagaling ni Saint Blaise ang isang batang natinik ng, uh, isang, ng buton ng isang isda. At muntik nang mamatay yung bata. The child was choked with the bone of a fish. Kaya nga mamaya, tayo ay magkakaroon din ng pagbabasbas ng lalamunan. Sa lahat ng mga may sakit o may karamdaman sa kanilang mga lalamunan, ipinagdarasil natin sila sa pamamagitan 
or through the inter intercession of Saint Blaise. Si Saint Blaise ay naging martyr dahil noong mga panahon na yon ay uh, pinapwersa siyang sambahin ang mga Diyos-Diyosan ng mga pagano. Makakalabas lamang siya ng kulungan kung susundin niya ang sinasabi ng gobernador at kung sasambahin niya ang mga Diyos-Diyosan ng mga pagano. At noong siya ay labis ng pinahihirapan, sinasaktan, si Saint Blaise ay nagkaroon ng katatagan ng loob sa kabila ng nararamdaman niyang paghihirap. At sabi pa nga niya, doon sa mga nagpaparusa sa kanya, You may punish my body, but there is nothing you can do to my soul. Pinarurusahan niyo nga ang aking katawan, pero wala kayong magagawa sa aking kaluluwa. Hindi siya natakot mamatay alang-alang sa kanyang pananampalataya sa Diyos. Hindi siya natakot mamatay sapagkat alam niyang malinis ang kanyang puso, malinis ang kanyang hangarin, malinis ang kanyang konsensya. Ang kanyang tanging hangarin lamang sa buhay ay mahalin ng Diyos at paglingkuran ang kanyang kapwa. Mga kapatid, katulad ni St. Blaise, tayo ay inaanyayahang tahakin ang landas ng pagiging martir. Lahat tayo ay binibigyan ng pagkakataon ng Diyos na ipamalas ang isang buhay ng pagiging martir. Ang isang martir ay una sa lahat ay isang taong may malinis na hangarin sa buhay. Si Saint Blaise ay mayroong malinis na hangarin at iyon ay walang iba kundi ang pagmamahal sa Diyos at paglilingkod sa kapwa. Kung susuriin din natin ang ating mga sarili, ano ba yung hangarin natin sa buhay? Malinis din ba ang hangarin natin sa buhay? Malinis ba ang hangarin mo sa iyong trabaho? Malinis din ba ang hangarin mo sa iyong bukasyon? Malinis din ba ang iyong hangarin sa iyong pamilya, sa iyong asawa? Sa Ebanghelyo, dahil sa kalinisan ng kalooban, dahil sa kalinisan ng hangarin ni Juan Bautista, siya ay naging martir. Ang hangad lamang ni Juan Bautista ay ang kabutihan, kapakanan, kaligtasan ni Haring Herodes. Kaya nga kung tatanungin mo rin ang iyong sarili, kung tatanungin natin ang ating mga sarili, katulad din ba tayo ni Juan Bautista? Mabuti rin ba ang ating hangarin sa ating kapwa? Hinahangad mo ba ang kaligtasan ng iyong kapwa? O pinapabayaan mo na lang? O baka wala ka ng pakialam? Hinahangad mo bang mabuti? Hinahangad mo ba na maging mabuti ang iyong kapatid? O baka mas hinahangad mo ang kanyang kapahamakan? Mga kapatid, ang pagiging martir ay nagsisimula sa pagtingin, pagsusuri ng ating kalooban. Nagsisimula ang lahat sa isang malinis, dalisay na hangarin sa buhay. Ang isang martir ay hindi takot mamatay dahil kahit mamatay siya, wala siyang pagsisisi, wala siyang panghihinayang dahil maliwanag sa kanyang puso na malinis ang kanyang hinahangad sa buhay. Si Saint Blaise, si John the Baptist sa Ebanghelyo ay nagpapatunay na walang sayang sa isang buhay na inilalaan sa pagmamahal sa Diyos at paglilingkod sa kapwa. Walang sayang kapag tayo ay hinahangad natin ang kabutihan, kapakanan at kaligtasan ng ating kapwa. Kaya mga kapatid, tanungin natin ating mga sarili. Meron ba tayong malinis at dalisay na hangarin sa buhay? Ano ba ang nilalaman ng iyong puso? Prayer of the Faithful 
John the Baptist gave testimony to Christ by his preaching up to the shedding of his blood. We pray to the Father for those who are persecuted on account of their faithfulness to their mission. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Church be endowed by the Holy Spirit with apostles and prophets who denounce evil and sin in all their forms, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we be inspired to act by example of those who devote themselves to the proclamation of the Gospel and serving others, often, often at the cost of their lives or of their comfort. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May rulers and pol political leaders not run after people who trouble their conscience by speaking the truth and asking for justice. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we fight against conspicuous and the temptation of the flesh and the snare of the devil through prayer meditation on the Word of God, and through the sacraments of the Eucharist and penance, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. May we be gain, may we be grains of wheat and instrument for the salvation of all humanity, following the example of John the Baptist and other martyrs, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us be let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and of our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty Father, you chose the weak to confound the mighty and the proud. Be our refuge and strength in time of trouble. Give us the courage to stand by our faith. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, so now believe himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Be humble, contrite, O God, and accepted by you, O Lord, and sacrifices will be pleasing. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may, by following the example of blessed Saint Blaise, Honor it with loving devotion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Uh, Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth, earth are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Of mercy and soul, we pray that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we bless you, Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let your loving mercy be for me, protection on my body, and healing. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Prayer During Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Communion Antiphon Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it in eternity, says the Lord.
Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr, Saint Blaise, faithful in your service and victorious in suffering. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray the prayer to the sacred heart of Jesus. Divine Jesus, Jesus you, you have said, said ask, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be open unto you. you. Behold, Behold me kneeling at your feet, filled with thy life of faith and confidence in the, in the promises dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips, I come to ask. To whom can I turn? if not to you, you whose, whose heart is the source, source of all graces and merits. Where should I seek, if not in the treasure which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where should I knock, if not at the door through which God gives himself to us and through which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, Strength when burdened with trials and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and my prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but it is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you, and your kind heart will find my mysteries and weaknesses a reason for granting my prayers. O sacred heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Lord Jesus, be pleased to accept this my act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire may be fulfilled by me and all your creatures forever. Sacred heart of Jesus, I know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity to those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon me, I beg of you, dear Jesus, and grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you through the Immaculate Heart of your most sorrowful mother, you have entrusted to me her as her child, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. Announcement. We are about to enter a new season, which is the season of Lent, and our St. Paul Sanctuary is in need of old blessed palaspas to be used on February 22, Ash Wednesday. If you want to share some of your old palaspas, kindly look for Mr. Robert Arevalo at the sacristy. And after the Mass, we will have the blessing of the truth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you for celebrating the Eucharist with us. God bless you all. We now invite you to pray our devotional prayer. Invocations to Jesus, Master. Jesus, Master, sanctify my mind and increase my faith. Jesus, teaching in the church, draw everyone to your school. Jesus, Master, deliver me from error, from vain thoughts, and from eternal darkness. Jesus, way between the Father and us, I offer you all and await all from you. Jesus, way of sanctity, 
make me your faithful imitator. Jesus' way, render me perfect as the Father who is in heaven. Jesus' life, live in me so that I may live in you. Jesus' life, do not permit me to separate myself from you. Jesus' life, grant that I may live eternally in the joy of your love. Jesus' truth, may I be light for the world. Jesus' way, may I be example and model for souls. Jesus' life, may my presence bring grace and consolation everywhere. Amen. Prayer to the Sacred Heart Jesus, Divine Master, I thank and bless your most lovable heart for the great gift of the Holy Eucharist. Your love makes you dwell in the Holy Tabernacle. Renew your passion in the Mass and give yourself as food for our souls in Holy Communion. May I know you, hidden God. May I draw salutary waters from the font of your heart. Grant me the grace to visit you every day in this sacrament, to understand and actively participate in Holy Mass, to receive Holy Communion often with faith and love. Sweetheart of my Jesus, make me love you more and more. Saint Joseph, we venerate you as the model of laborers the friend of the poor, the consoler of the afflicted, and those forced to leave their own land, the saint of divine providence. On earth, you represented the universal goodness and concern of the Heavenly Father. You were the carpenter of Nazareth and work teacher to the Son of God, who became a humble laborer for us. Assist with your prayers all who labor in intellectual, moral, and material work. For the nations, obtain legislation inspired by the gospel, the spirit of Christian charity, a way of governing in accord with justice and peace. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us.